here with the man, the myth, the legend, Chef Danny, who is behind uh, Maple Nash, and now Etta. Yep. Did I said it right? You got it right. There it is. Okay, what's the concept and where'd the name come from? So Etta uh, is short for Henrietta, and that's for the keeper of the hearth, that she was responsible for making sure the fire was lit overnight. Um, and obviously our restaurant is really based around the fire, so it kind of was a suiting name. I love it. And, and the food here is amazing. I had a chance to eat it, and you have to. Um, but it's like some pasta dishes. There's some different, uh, do I say Italian? Is that what we're I, I think or? it's more like New American. For me, these are all dishes I want to eat on my day off. Yeah. And I grew up eating. Um, and I think it's, it's a fun restaurant because there's not really too many rules. We have some pizzas, we have pastas, but we also have a lot of wood-fired meats and vegetables and all kinds of stuff like that. And can I say it's also a sharing place. So it's like a family, good time, or just uh, friends come in and sit and enjoy yourself. Like you Order. eat, everyone orders. The more people you come in, the better. It yeah. gives you like the ability to just try all sorts of new food and enjoy and laugh with everybody. All right, chef, what are we gonna cook? All right, so this is one of our signature pastas. It's called Cacio e Pepe. Um, it's a very classic Roman pasta dish, and it's really made of just a few ingredients. Important things is when you're cooking your pasta, it's just you want to give it a little agitation to make sure the noodles separate. But then otherwise, the pasta water is your friend. We need that for the starch. So we make this. This is called a Bermonte, and that's just a little bit of butter and a little bit of cream and pecorino cheese. Okay, pasta's ready. All right, so this is one of the things that I would say the biggest mistake that's made in cooking pasta is you want to take it out of the boiling water with still a little bit of life left in the noodles. So now the starch is going to fall off the noodles, thicken up your sauce, and the noodles will then absorb all that great flavor that we just put in there. As we're getting this ready to go here, and it's actually pretty much almost done, right? Yeah, that's pretty much it. That's it right we there. We garnish with a little bit of olive oil, a little bit more fresh cracked pepper on top. Wow. And you're good to go. There it is. Okay, we got this dish, and we know you also have a great menu. Can we go check it out? Let's go check it out. All right. Chef, that dish came out beautifully. Look at that. That was just amazing. Hey, that was a lot of your hard work, too. <laughs> All right, let's talk about the menu again here. This is awesome. What do we have here? So these are our fire roasted uh, oysters. Oh my god! They're gosh. roasted over the hearth with a little bit of uh, smoked tomato butter and fished with lemon and a little bit of chili oil. Oh my gosh! Okay, over here. This Moving is seasonal. On. Oh yeah. So that's our seasonable burrata dish, right. and we keep this really kind of light and fresh, and it's a great appetizer. Okay, so this is one of our most popular dishes. It's the fire baked focaccia. Um, why it's so great? It's everything we make in house. The bread we make in house. The cheese we make in house. Um, it's Simple things done really, really well. Ah, man, good. Okay, this dish right here, this is amazing. Okay, this one I know is your kryptonite. Oh my God, it yeah. is, it is. Okay, so uh, how it's made bolognese, and it's one of those dishes that just satisfies the soul and makes your, it makes your day better. It does. Cheers. <laughs> All right, yeah. pizza, because you are a Chicago guy, and yep. of course the uh, Long Island guy, you know pizza is very important in our lives. I've eaten a lot of pizza in my life. Um, this was one that's kind of personal to me from Chicago. It's a little nod, uh, we call it the fire pie. It has Italian sausage, a little bit of chili oil, and then we garnish it with ground up jardinier. Oh my gosh. When I grew up in New York, I never heard of jardinier until I moved to Chicago, and it's one of my favorite condiments. Oh my gosh. Yep. All right, down here, what do we have here? Fire baked, fire roasted bronzino. Yet again, something very, very simple. We cook it directly over the, the fire so the skin gets really, really crispy. Um, and we garnish it with just a little bit of capers, brown butter, and lemon. All right, dessert. You can't go anywhere without uh, having dessert. No, you can't, and you shouldn't. No. So this is a play on a classic cannoli. Um, and for us, it was taking all the flavors that are in cannoli, but we turned it into a cannoli cake. There it is. Um, and it's one of our most popular selling desserts. That's right. Don't forget to get the cannoli. That's all I got to say. That's right. And That's some it. cocktails. There you go. Let's talk cocktails. Okay. Because this is the classic right here that you have. That is our Etta Rita. <laughs> and then this one here, uh, house roasted beets, smoked uh, tequila, and goes down really easy. All right. Now, there's something that you guys love doing here. Uh, but before I get to that, let me get to the smell that I'm smelling that actually I can take home. You guys have candles? So this is our Etta scented candle. This one is the Etta Rita. The scent is like a margarita. Okay. What is this here? All right, so this is our Perone. Um, this is filled with our house rosé. You can fill it with white wine, rosé. Sometimes to get a little wild, fill it with tequila Ooh. or margaritas. <laughs> it turns the party up pretty quick. And then this is a kind of a fun interactive thing that we like to do at all of our restaurants is have more than just people going out to have dinner. We want them laughing, we want them crying, we want them doing all kinds of stuff. 
So you pour this into your mouth, and we sell it with a Polaroid so that you're able to take a picture of all the fun that you're having. Oh, oh my gosh. Okay, I gotta try this. All right, here we go. All right. All right. <laughs> I get worried for you down there. Wow. That's, wow, I like that. There you That's go. That's good. There. This is awesome, Chef. Thank you very much for having us in. Tell them uh, again uh, where people can find you guys. So we're at a, in a Scottsdale Quarter, and we also have Maple and Ash down in Old Town. There it is. So you got to check it out, Etta. So did I say it right, Etta? Yeah. Yeah, after drinking there. Yeah, you had a few drinks. You can yeah, mix so. them up a little bit, but it sounds good. <laughs>